So, years and years ago, when Mari was, I don't know, maybe, I'm going to say five, four or five, we were at, like, a barn sale, a yard sale, and the people told all the kids they could take a stuffed animal if they wanted to, and she found this little bear ornament with a scarf. It was in a little Christmas tin. And everybody else took, like, these giant, <laughs> ridiculous stuffed animals. And she took the, the little ornament bear. And so ever since then, it was her special bear ornament, her little bear. Um, and it sits and everything. And um, one year that year <laughs> and none of us can remember exactly how it happened I think that Steve like jokingly moved it on the tree or hit it a tiny bit or something like that and it was like the joke the joke was that the bear could run away on its own and could could move about on its on its own and so you never knew where you might find it which became a thing. Um, he was working outside the house at the time, and before he left for work one morning, he left her a whole bear hunt. And so the bear disappeared. There was a, oh no, the bear disappeared from the tree. Where could it be? And then hints. And they went all through the house, ranged all through the house, um, where she had to, find each hint and follow it until she found the bear. And I think that the first year he was just on the other side of the tree, the first time that they did it. Um, but after that, I think they did it like, he did it like three or four times that year. Um, one time it was the, at the end of the bear hunt, it was in his shirt pocket. Um, <laughs> and the bear would show up all over the place. So it was, the, it was the big joke that the bear could travel on its own and end up almost anywhere. Maybe he wanted to do this or that or the other thing. Um, so then when Serafina came along, um, it was such a big deal that Mari had her bear and her bear hunts and it became a thing every year that there was at least one bear hunt. And then Serafina came along and Galen, who was nine maybe at the time felted her this this bear <laughs> so that she had her own bear ornament <laughs> um so that she could have bear hunts too <laughs> um and sometimes they were together and sometimes they were apart with like different level of clues and over the years Galen's kind of taken over a little bit and he even one year did like really advanced clues and riddles for Mari and it had like algebraic math problems and all kinds of stuff like that um, and funky riddles and things that she had to figure out um Anyhow, this year, he actually, he found this really, 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 really cute, gigantic, stuffed bear, Christmas bear in a Christmas dress that he was going to give to Serafina um, as at the end of a bear hunt, and that was his whole big plan, and she found it <laughs> beforehand, and it spoiled his plan. Um, but we just... We were at the pharmacy picking up a prescription and found these little chocolate bears. These little chocolates and they are so cute. Look, look, they're like tiny Fair Isle sweaters. <laughs> and they're so cute. So we jazzed up the bear hunt a wee bit with some extra bears at the end and I don't think that anyone was disappointed but this I didn't do it 
I didn't do it, and I actually wasn't out of bed yet when Serafina did it this morning. She must have, I didn't even hear her, I didn't hear her get up and leave her room, or else I would have come and, um, and watched her. <laughs> and so she, she left me some of the, the notes that, <laughs> Galen gets all high tech, Steve just wrote them. <laughs> Galen, <laughs> Galen prints them, prints them out. <laughs> this says, nope, <laughs> maybe he was trying to get some swole packs and decided to hit a nice set of bench press with his gym bros. <laughs> the notes have changed over the years, as the interests of the people in the house have changed over the years. <laughs> That's funny. Oh no, that pesky bear is gone. Where could he be? Maybe he was cold and wanted to go somewhere warm. Apparently not. Maybe he wanted to help himself to some frozen berries. Oh, I think I know which one comes after this one. Because I'm reading these out of order. These were just... This was just a pile of some of the ones she kept that were handed to me. But I'm going to guess this one, covered in blueberry juice, <laughs> came after that one. No, nope, not here either. Where could he be? Maybe he wanted to play a game of chess. Nope, not here. Maybe he wanted to make himself a nice cup of tea. Um, I don't actually know where they were at the end. I'll have to ask. <laughs> I'll ask where they were. But I knew this is a sweet, funny little tradition that I know everybody's going to want to remember when, when they're bigger. So usually it's just the bears. Usually it's just these bears. But we got a little extra this year because we thought they were just so cute. Galen and I were at the store. And he found these, and we were like, yeah, that's got to be a part of it, too. <laughs> got to get the chocolate in there. I think so. Spice it up, make it a little different. <laughs> Anyhow, that's one of the very silly things that we do in our house. <laughs>